Is this going to fit? I don't know. Well, we, I already took the faucet off. If it doesn't fit, then we're minus the faucet. Just try it, I guess. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> okay, let's try and take this serious now. <laughs> Lefty Lucy. What do we do wrong? The thing. You have to you have to turn the thing. Oh. Hey. All right. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Cameron. Nora, how's it going? Sorry to bother you. No oh, nonsense. It's always good to hear from you. I just wanted to say hello. I haven't spoken to Patricia in a while. I tried calling her directly, but she didn't answer. Oh, yeah. She's probably just busy. Work's been hectic lately. Happy anniversary, by the way. Thank you. It's in a couple of days, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Wednesday. Any plans? We'll see. Uh, I wanted to take her to that nice lobster restaurant, the Bottom Dweller, but... Might be a little out of our price range. You know, they have a special for couples on their anniversary. You buy the crustacean plate and you get the second one for free. Really? Yeah, it's really good, too. Wow. Well, thanks for the tip. Might be in our price range after all. Well, tell Patricia I called, and if I don't talk to you before, I hope you guys have a nice anniversary. All right. Thanks, Nora. Bye. Hey. Hey. Your mom called. Says she was just checking in. Oh, sorry. I must have missed my phone. That's fine. So, I was thinking about our anniversary. Yeah? What do you think of the bottom dweller? Ooh, I like the crustacean plate. Awesome. But they're a little pricey. Can we afford that? I'm not sure. I checked our account balance and we have $48. That's not good. Right. But the crustacean plate is $50, and they have a buy one, get one free special for couples on their anniversary. Huh. So we're a couple bucks short. Right. But we have until Wednesday, so we could probably... Well, wait. We have to pay the electric bill by Monday. And don't you get your paycheck today? Yeah, but we have to pay the water bill by Wednesday. So do we have more money coming in or going out? I don't know. Oh! Our tax return! Says we have five twenty-seven forty-three coming in. Let me see that. How much was the refund again? $527.43. The check should be coming soon. Do you know when? Hopefully before Wednesday. You know what? Check the mail. It might already be here. All right. Okay, so once we pay the bills, it's a little tight, but we might be able to afford it if we get a refund check. We got it. Oh, good. Uh, remind me how much it was? $527,430.17. Huh? $527,430.17. That's not right. Give me the check. $527,430. 527,430 and 17 cents? What? I think they made a mistake. I'll say! It's supposed to be $527! They gave us a lot more than that. Yeah, but we wouldn't be able to deposit it. They know they made a mistake. We can't deposit it. It's made out to cash. What? It says C.Ash. Well, that's your name, Cameron Ash. 
Yeah, but it looks like it's made out to cash. Holy crap! So, what do we do? We do not deposit this. It'll be flagged immediately and the IRS will be all over us. No. We go down to the local IRS office, inform them of the mistake, and tell them to give us our 527 they were supposed to give us. Okay. Right. Or? No, we are not going to entertain that thought. They'll arrest us. It was their mistake. I doubt they'll see it that way. Just correct their mistake, get the right amount, and we'll have enough to eat at the bottom dweller on Wednesday. Okay, you're right. I kind of want to take a picture of it and make it my desktop background. I know it's a lot of money, but you know we can't. I know, you're right. We can't. Patricia. Patricia. No, we're giving it back. Just go to bed and don't think about it. Okay. I love you. I love you too. At the next intersection, turn left. You are driving in the wrong direction. Please turn around. Hey, babe. What's that? Cameron? Okay, so... Don't be mad. Oh my god, seriously? The way that I see it, who am I to say that a government agency didn't do their job properly? Cameron, you know they didn't give us that much on purpose. I assume as much, but do I really know? Yes, you know! I, I can't believe you deposit that! I didn't deposit it. You didn't? No, I, um, I cashed it. So there's half a million dollars cash in that bag? Give or take. Oh my god, they're, they're gonna arrest us! They're worse! Worse? What do you think the IRS does to people? I don't know! That's why I'm nervous! What did they do to Wesley Snipes? Look, I think it's entirely possible that you're getting worked up over nothing. Stealing half a million dollars cash isn't nothing, Cameron. It's a private number. That doesn't necessarily mean it's the government. It's the government. They know that we took their money, and they're coming to arrest us. Oh, come on, if they wanted to arrest us, you think they'd call and warn us first? I'm gonna pack a bag. Good idea. Uh, just as a precaution, but yeah. Could you pick a more conspicuous bag? Everything you own has animal print on it. I can't believe this. I can't believe you did this. It'll be fine. It'll be fine? Are you sure? Yes. Then why are we fleeing? You don't flee when everything's okay. You flee when there's a crime scene. going anyway? I don't know. Just somewhere that's not home in case an auditor comes knocking. You're giving it back. You're giving all of it back. Okay. You're right. You're right. I got you a little something while I was out. What? I got you something. With the money? Yes. Why would you do that? I wanted to do something nice for you. Don't do something nice for me with stolen money. It's not stolen. They gave it to us. It's like a gift. You're giving it back. Whatever it is, you're giving it back. Fine. Do you want to know what it is? No. Let's just find a hotel room for the night and we'll figure out the rest tomorrow. Okay. You want to check out some rooms? Open nearby, single bed. 
bed. For $100 more, we can have a jacuzzi in the room. Like, in the bedroom? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. All right. How are we going to pay for it? I'll think of something. stressed about having too much money. Yeah. Remember our wedding day? It wasn't so much a wedding day as it was a certificate signing. <laughs> yeah, City Hall sure knows how to make your special day feel like jury duty. I remember you just wanted to go down to the docks and have a sea captain officiate. Yeah, I couldn't even afford to get you an engagement ring. Yeah, but I never needed any of that stuff. And I knew we were having money problems, so I knew what to expect. I know. But I still like to surprise you every once in a while. Brought to you by the American taxpayer. It's a shame I'm going to have to take this back. Shut up. Get on one knee. I thought you said you never- Shut up! Do the thing! Okay. Patricia. I love you. I've always loved you, and I always will love you. And whether I'm settled in our home or on the run from the American government, there's nobody that I would rather have with me than you. You've already married me and made me the- happiest man on the planet. Will you take this ring as a belated symbol of my love and a current symbol of our terrible money management skills? Yes. Terrible decisions. Here, here. Oh, it's gorgeous. We can have more gorgeous things. Just saying. Check was made out to cash, right? Uh, basically, a first initial, last name, Cameron Ash. So it's possible they don't even know who has the money. It's possible. I mean, even if they did, it's possible they don't know how much they gave to us. Uh, sure. I mean, honestly, I don't know how it works. So, maybe we take a little no one needs to know about, and whatever's left over, we give that to the IRS. Yeah, yeah, sure. Or, we don't give anything to the IRS. Okay. So how much do we have? Um, a little over 500000 Great. What do you want to buy with it? Um, I don't know. Uh, oh! Uh, how about a private jet? We can go anywhere. Well, those are like millions of dollars. We don't have that. Okay. Um, what about a yacht? Those are also millions of dollars. Really? Jeez. You can't buy anything with half a million dollars. Just think smaller. Like a vacation. Or maybe a new car. Maybe a concert. Upgrade from a hotel room to something more luxurious or gimmicky. Or we could do the responsible thing and pay off the mortgage. Let's do the gimmick hotel thing. Okay, sure. But for tonight, let's just enjoy the jacuzzi. Ah, this hot water is really hitting the spot. 
tell me about it. Who knew stealing half a billion dollars would be so stressful? We should buy a jacuzzi. Melt the stress away every night. Sure, that's the first thing you suggested we can actually afford. Yay! You want more champagne? I don't think I can drink anymore. Come on, we're celebrating. I think of a better way to celebrate. Oh yeah? champagne. Uh, yeah, me too. What's the plan today? I don't know. Spend money? We can try and find a cool hotel to stay at. How much money should I carry in my wallet? Like, 5000 What? No, that's too much. 200 Better. All filled up. You use cash, right? Yeah. You could put another hundred in your wallet as long as it's close to two hundred. That's all right. $260 in my wallet. What? How did that happen? I think the gas station gave me wrong change. Oh, Jesus. Should we go back? No. You're gonna get us in trouble. Oh man. I forgot to pay for this candy bar. That's just great. So we just don't pay for things anymore. That's our life. It seems more like a campsite than a hotel. Well, hopefully the sleeping arrangements will be appropriate. Well, that's definitely appropriated. Wow. This is awesome. We should just sell our house and buy a teepee. Yeah, every girl's dream is permanent camping. Yeah. So, what do you want to buy next? I don't know, but there's no rush. Well, sure, there's no rush, but it's a matter of transactions, not amount. Like, we could buy a hundred thousand hamsters, and it might take a while. Or, we could buy a couple of jet skis and be done tomorrow. You want a jet ski? No, I hate the water. It's just an example. Okay, good. Because if we got a jet ski, it just sit in storage and we never get our money's worth. Okay, sure. But we could get something. As long as we have $50 left over for the bottom dweller on Wednesday, we should be good. You know, I know it's not our anniversary yet, but... You want to just go to the bottom dweller tonight? Well, we could, but then we'd miss the buy one get one free special. Right. What about a car? Huh? With the money. What kind of car did you have in mind? I don't know, uh, how about a Lamborghini? That's a terrible investment. We need to be smart with what we buy. Money doesn't just fall on your lap, you know. Yeah, you're right. We can buy little things until we decide on a big purchase. A nice dinner. Yeah, um, what do rich people eat? We could get caviar. Ew, no. Have you ever had caviar? What about escargot? Those are like snails, right? Um... I've heard that rich people eat blue eggs. What are those? Yuck, no. I've seen somebody eat that on Fear Factor. What about pate? That's like cat food, right? Wanna just get cheeseburgers? Yes. Set some money aside for a cruise. Maybe a trip or two to the theme park. 
and still have $50 left over for the bottom dweller on Wednesday. We can get matching motorcycles, and one with the sidecar for when one of us doesn't feel like driving. Maybe a couple of cool Fonzie jackets. And still have $50 left over for the bottom dweller on Wednesday. We could get capes. Capes? Like magicians? Yeah, like royalty and scepters. Walk around like big shots, telling everyone how morally reprehensible they are. What? That's what rich people do. We could pick up plastic bottle, throw it in the recycling bin, make a big deal about it to everybody, and still have $50 for the bottom dweller on Wednesday. I love you. I wish we could commit more felonies together. One's enough for me, thank you. Hey, did you treat yourself to anything at the gas station? Yeah. I got some cigars. That's what you got? Yeah. We have half a million dollars and you got the cheapest cigars in the store? I like these. They smell good. Okay, you do you. I just assume you get the big fat mafia cigars or something. I like what I like. I'm probably just not used to the rich stuff yet. It's an acquired taste. We'll get used to it. Yeah. We'll be eating snails and cat food in no time. You know we're gonna have to go home at some point, right? Yeah, I know. How will we know it's safe to go home? I don't know. I guess we'll check to see if there's any suspicious cars before we enter. Like a flower van? Yeah. Maybe we uh, stay away from home one more night, just to be on the safe side. Okay. I'm gonna go check to see if there's any wigwams in the area. for the day. Oh yeah? What are we going to do today? Knock off a bank? Isn't it weird that if we did knock off a bank, we'd probably end up with less money than we have right now? That is weird. What's up? Huh? Why do you keep staring at that guy? Do you know him or something? No, it just... I don't know. He looks weird, right? Like he's... Out of place. Looks like he's expecting someone. He looks suspicious. Suspicious how? Do you think he's an auditor? I don't know. I don't think so. Do you think they have like field auditors that go undercover and track people down? I don't know, but I'd say definitely yes. Oh yeah, that was good. We really kept our cool there. Just try and act natural. Maybe he didn't notice. Oh boy. Just play it cool. Admit to nothing. Are you the guy? The guy? I was told the name would be Fletcher. The name? Whose name? Your name? Fletcher. That doesn't mean anything to you? Fletcher's a name, right? What? I think you're confusing it with somebody else. Excuse me. Why was he so scary? I don't know. I hate to be Fletcher, though. <sighs> I'm getting tired. I think I'm gonna have you drive next time we stop. Sure, just pull over whenever. Do we even know where we're going? Mm, not yet. Still have to, uh... Huh. What? What's that? It's a wallet. A wallet? As in not your wallet? It's definitely not mine. Oh, there's a lot of money in here. Of course there is. It's 
probably that Fletcher guys. Yeah, obviously. You guys must have switched jackets back there. So, uh, do we just add it to the money pile, or? No, that we can return. There's gotta be an ID in there, right? Yeah. Good. Let's look up the address and give it back to him. I really don't want to deal with him again. I know, neither do I, but I'd rather be friendly with an intense stranger than get on his bad side and steal from him. That's a good point. I'll pull up his address. This is the place, right? Yeah. Okay. Knock. All right. Cameron. I just, let me get ready. Get ready for what? I need to mentally prepare myself. Hi. What are you doing here? I, uh, just wanted to return this. Hey, my wallet. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that we accidentally switched jackets. So we were driving and, uh, I checked my inside pocket here. And, um, yeah, so that's probably mine. Here. When you two come in, I just put on some coffee. Even yours? No. Oh, that's just great. Sit down, have some coffee. Consider it a thank you for bringing my wallet back. Oh, that's very kind, but we're uh, actually gonna head out. You don't want to accept my hospitality? Oh, no, of course we do. It's just that, um... We're actually supposed to be meeting with somebody. Yeah, uh, we're supposed to be meeting with somebody, but we're already running a little late, so... So are you at the park earlier? To meet with someone? Yes, exactly. What's your name? Cameron. Can I ask you a question, Cameron? I can't think of a reason why not. Do you two have a suitcase full of money on you? I knew it. Crazy, right? Crazy coincidence. Coincidence? You have a suitcase full of money too? No. I'm the guy you were supposed to meet. To think. I walk up to you guys, I walk right past you. Sorry for the mix-up. They told me the name was Fletcher. It's not the first time they've messed up the name. It's never happened to me, of course. But I've heard of it happening to others. Um, I'm sorry. You were supposed to meet a Fletcher with a suitcase full of money? Right. What are the odds? You have no idea. You two sit. I'll go get the paintings. Paintings? Jesus. He's just an art dealer. I thought we were about to put a hit out on somebody. Cameron, we're not who he's supposed to meet. I know. Then what are we still doing here? I want to see the paintings. I'm sure you want to check out the merchandise. Sure. Oh, wow, these are nice. Yeah, this one would look good in our living room. In your living room? Yeah, I mean, sure, why not? Hey, you buy them, you can put them wherever you want to. Okay. Uh, which one do you like? One? Huh? You said one. Yeah, well, I mean, we wouldn't need more than one in our living room. Fine, but you will be purchasing all of them. Excuse me? There's $200,000 worth of counterfeit paintings there. And you're supposed to purchase all of them. You do have $200,000 in your suitcase, right? Well, yeah. Good. So where's the confusion? Right, of course. So let's go to the car and grab the money. Cameron? You two stay here, give me the key, I'll go to the car and get the money. Oh no, that's not necessary. You stay here, 
I get money. Yes, sir. What do we do? I don't know. I think maybe we just buy the paintings. It's $200,000 of paintings that aren't worth anything. This guy creeps me out. I think that we should just count our losses, go home with the fake art. Do you think he's armed? I don't know. But I don't want to find out. I think 200000 is worth finding out before buying a bunch of worthless crap. Why is he not going to get in his own house? Hello? Stanley? I'm sorry? I was told the name was Stanley. Oh, um, I was told the name would be Fletcher. Yes, P.H. Fletcher, but yes. I hope you don't mind me coming here. I couldn't find you at the park. Uh, no, that's fine. Oh, are these the paintings? Yes. Hmm. They're magnificent. Can barely tell that they're fake. I can flip these no problem. Uh, uh that's good. We agreed on 200,000, right? Yes. Everything seems to be in order. Good? Good? Yeah. Stanley. Yes, dear? Oh, Stanley. Oh, right. Um, Fletcher. Yes. Where is the money? It's in a suitcase in my car. Give me a hand with the paintings and I'll give it to you then. I think what would be best is if you went to your car and waited for us there. Then we could bring out the paintings and make the exchange there. That would involve a whole extra trip. Stanley has his reasons. Yeah, I'm a real quirky son of a bitch. Now, off you go. Nicely done, babe. This is perfect. Stanley will give us the paintings, take our $200,000, and then we'll give the paintings to Fletcher and get the $200,000 back. Yeah, it's perfect. But now that I know I'm not going to get that painting, I really want it. Oh, there's more than $200,000 in here. Ah, uh, yes, there is. Well, you knew the amount was $200,000. Why'd you bring more? Oh, uh, we had some counterfeit jewelry we were going to buy later. Yeah, we love buying fake shit. Stanley? Yes? What the hell is going on here? Are you trying to sell the paintings to two different buyers? No, the buyers aren't here. You're the middleman, Cameron. Stanley. What? Who's Cameron? I'm Cameron. I'm having trouble keeping up. Who's this guy? This is Cameron. No, I'm not. Who's this guy? This is Cameron. What the hell is going on here? I, I think I can explain. Stanley wants to sell these paintings to a man named Fletcher for $200,000. Fletcher has $200,000 in his suitcase. Cameron also has a suitcase full of money. So I think that the best thing to do is to leave that suitcase here and take the paintings out to the car. Right? Yes, good. I don't know, this is starting to feel like a scam. Of course it's a scam. These are counterfeit paintings. I know that that part is a scam. I mean, like, on top of that, it feels, it feels like a double scam. And it feels like you guys are trying to pull one over on us. Look, the way I see it, Cameron still wants money. Cameron still wants paintings. No reason all Camerons can't be happy. Uh, look, I'm beginning to think that there's just something wrong with these paintings. They're counterfeit. And I'm beginning to think that my price just went up. Look, you want the money. Yeah. You want the paintings? Yeah. The way I see it, $200,000 in the suitcase, counterfeit paintings. You guys make the exchange, everyone's happy. Okay, but then who the hell are you guys? At this point, I don't think it's important to who we are. There's $500,000 in this suitcase. What were you guys planning on purchasing? There's five hundred grand in that silly little bag? Did you guys undercover? No, actually it's funny. We thought you might have been undercover. Me? Undercover? For who? CIA? FBI? IRS. What? Look, Cameron, you brought a suitcase full of money. I'm going to take the money that I'm owed from this suitcase, and then I want the three of you out of my house as soon as possible. And I am not going anywhere without these paintings. What? No, we paid for those. You can't take those. Stanley! What are you doing? I'm taking my paintings. No, you're not. You didn't pay for them. You're not taking them. I just want to see them. No. Let me examine the paintings. Nice try, Fancy Just boy. let me see them. You're not going to look at the paintings, Go outside okay? the bedroom window. Look. 
I'm gonna just get Carmen up to you, the and then yeah. run to the car. Look, I just have to take a oh no! Look. A fight's about okay. to break out. I can't okay. stand the sight of blood. Okay. I'm gonna go outside of the car and wait. Just let me see them, okay? No. You're not just look. I need to examine the paintings. Keep your hands off, Pillsbury. You're not touching those do, paintings. Do, uh, look. No, don't touch them. You're going to smudge the ink. I'm not going to smudge the ink. Everything is dry. I haven't eaten in 45 minutes. I washed my hands. You're supposed Just to be let me look you're supposed at the goddamn you know You're not supposed painting. to be touching the painting. Sorry, baby. I'm okay. Just get the car keys. They're dry paintings. I can't smudge the ink. I wash my hands. Just let You're me look. You're supposed to be a professional. What? You don't touch the I don't know what fingers. truck stop art. Hey, where's Cameron? He took my suitcase. Sweetheart. What? My hand, Patricia, my hand. Oh my god, baby, your hand! Yeah. It's locked! The keys, baby. The keys, the keys are right there. Thank you. Where are we going to stay tonight? I don't know. Somewhere cheap. Do you have your wallet? <sighs> no, Stanley has it. We never switch jackets. <sighs> Just pull over. What are we supposed to do now? I, I don't know. We can't afford a hotel. We're completely screwed, Cameron. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Look, it'll be fine, all right? We still have a couple of days until the bottom dweller. Forget about the damn bottom dweller. We lost all the money, Cameron, all of it. We don't even have a fake painting we could hang up at home. And we're probably going to be sleeping in the car tonight. You're impulsive, Cam. You gotta cut that out. Grow up. Stop thinking in the moment and start thinking about our future. I'm sorry. Alright? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I know. I'm sorry I blew up at you. I know it's not your fault. It's just, a lot has happened in a very short amount of time. You're right though. I was the one who cashed the check. I was the one who spent the money. I was the one who wanted to stay so that we could see the paintings. 
it's just difficult for me to think more than 10 minutes into the future. You know, I'd be lying if I said that that wasn't one of the things that I loved about you. You mean you love that about me until it becomes overwhelmingly inconvenient for us? Yes. <laughs> I'm just scared, Cam. I need to know that everything's gonna be okay. Well, we'll be okay tonight. Is our tent still in the trunk from the last time we went camping? That was from like two years ago. We really need to clean the trunk out. Cameron, you awake? Yeah, I'm awake. You couldn't sleep either, huh? No. It was a bad day. But we've had bad days before. Yeah, but this feels different. This feels worse. We lost a lot of money today. But we never really had it to begin with. It's not that. It's... If the IRS comes looking for it, we owe half a million that we don't have. We can't pay it back. We might have just ruined our lives. You're right. But we'll get through it. <sighs> you remember when we were in our 20s? We were young and stupid, made bad decisions, but we held on to the idea that we were just kids. That we'd grow up and do the mature, responsible things that you're supposed to do. We were young and stupid and could afford to be young and stupid. But now, we're just old and stupid. We can't afford to be stupid anymore, not at our age. Sure, we've made some bad decisions. Some of the worst decisions we've ever made, we made these past couple of days. And you're right, we're not in our 20s anymore. But I see that as a positive. We're better off now. We know more now. And I know that we'll be okay. But you don't know that. You don't know what's going to happen. True. I. I don't know what's going to happen, but now I know that I don't know what's going to happen, and I'm okay with that. Part of the benefit of getting older is understanding that life is unpredictable and learning how to deal with it anyway. And I know that we can handle anything as long as we stick together. Even if the universe throws you a really big curveball? Of course. There's no curveball curvy enough to flip our lives upside down. We really could have used that money. I know. But we've gotten this far without any money. We can go a little further. I'm not so sure. Hey, there's nothing that we can't handle. I'm late. What? I'm late, Cameron. You're, um... We're... Maybe. I love you. I love you too. You see any flower vans? No. Any off-brand company trucks? No. You know what I just realized? What? The cash that Stanley gave me. We have enough money for the bottom dweller on Wednesday. Ooh, yay! Yeah. You see? Told you everything would work out. Yeah. We're so lucky. Okay, I think it's safe.
We got something from the IRS. Oh boy. Okay. What does it say? Dear taxpayer, we found a discrepancy. All right. Well, we expected this. The amount of five hundred and twenty-seven dollars. Um. Hmm. What? Five hundred and thirty-seven dollars. What's five hundred thirty-seven dollars? It says they made a mistake. They owe us ten dollars. That's it? That's it. They owe us more money? Yes. Ten dollars. Okay. Great. Crisis averted. Yeah. We're going to be good parents, right? I don't know. But it's okay. Well, we spent all night in a tent. I'm going to take a shower. Okay. Love you, babe. I love you. Hey, Mom. Mom, Patricia. I'm not sure if Cameron told you. I called a little bit ago. He did. I'm sorry I didn't get back to you. That's okay. I know you've been busy. Yeah. These past couple days have been extremely stressful. Oh, no. Right before your anniversary. Yeah, it's all right. Are you and Cameron fighting, or...? No, it's nothing like that. We just had to deal with something that would have been a big change for us. Now it's over, and I'm not really sure how to feel about it. You know when you have to deal with something... And there's this goal, right? And if you reach it, it could be amazing. It could be exciting. It could make your whole world better. But if it doesn't work out, you have to act like it never even happened in the first place. Sure. I know what that's like. I've dealt with that exact feeling before. Really? When? When I was young, I had a miscarriage. And I was devastated. But life goes on, and you're expected to keep moving forward. I didn't know that. What did you do? I grieved in my way. Then about a year later, I had you. And suddenly I had reached that goal. And my whole life did get better. You know, if you would have said that five years ago, I probably would have rolled my eyes. I know, it's part of having a child. But you learn to deal with it. That's the most important lesson I've learned about having a family. What's that? It isn't about me. You know, I think Cameron and I just recently learned that lesson. Well, that's good, sweetie. Cameron's a good man. You're lucky to have each other. Hey, I heard you might be going to the bottom dwellers tomorrow night. Yeah, I'm going to get the crustacean plate. Listen, I know money's been hard to come by lately, so I'd like to offer to pay for your anniversary dinner. I appreciate the offer, Mom. I really do, but I don't want to get used to the feeling of receiving handouts. Cameron and I will be fine. Okay, sweetie. Love you too, Mom. Hello. I'm sorry, I never caught your name. Oh, shit. I'm not here for any malicious reasons. I spoke to Fletcher after you left. Now I understand what happened. It was all a case of mistaken identity. Right. I wanted to return Cameron's jacket and wallet. Oh wow, thank you Stanley. And also, your suitcase. Don't worry, it's all there. And I threw a little extra in there for all the trouble I caused. Uh, a little extra? Are you sure? I just wanted to make things right. And now I have. You'll never see me again.
Hello there. Oh shit. Oh no, it's okay. Don't don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not here to beat up your husband or anything. Um, I hope you don't mind me coming here. I got your address from uh, Stanley. I spoke to him at the park, and uh, it just it just ended up being one of those, uh, you know, what do you what do you call it? Um, Case of mistaken identity. Exactly, exactly. And in all the confusion, uh, I realized that you guys were cheated out of two hundred thousand dollars. Uh oh. So. This really isn't necessary. Oh, no, no, no. I just have to make sure that my conscience is clear and I'm free of any bad karma from, you know, Jesus or Buddha or any of those. But, um, look, it's been great, but, uh, you'll never see me again. Hey, somebody dropped something off? Yeah, a suitcase. Oh, yeah? What's in it? 